uh, we will be learning about uh, nest.js request and getting a bit deep into it okay so what we will be learning about is uh, like uh, ip param body query and headers and how do we access these things within our nest.js request ecosystem okay so what i have done is uh, i have created a new module here so you you can do it manually or there is a neat way to do it as well for example you can you obviously have installed uh, nest cli that we did in our very first lecture all you have to do is type nest g controller and the name of the controller you want for example response so what it would do is it would create some of the boiler code uh, boilerplate code here and also import it here you can see it imported response controller uh, from the particular file that it created and then also put it into this controllers and you can come here and see uh, it has created you some of the um, boilerplate code where you can go and uh, go ahead and start similarly to that i created a request controller and then i put all of those code in here so i have already um, coded uh, stuff uh, that i would be explaining so that it saves time as well right let's first begin with param so we have our particular request controller here and this is our very first get request so you know how it would work right uh, you would be typing something like this in your postman uh, like our code is running on like localhost 3000 and then request and param one right uh, this one can be anything dynamic uh, you can type is one two three four five or anything uh, that you want it would come in place of id so how do we extract this id here right how do we extract this particular parameter uh, in order to do that we need to have this param decorator imported from nest.js common once we do that uh, we would be uh, destructuring it from id uh, we also discussed it two lectures ago uh, and then we would be returning it just like that so let's open our postman here uh, and go to this request param1 and whenever you press send can see that one is returned or you can type anything here uh, like 100 and you would see it would be returned here so this is the only purpose of param to get the parameters out of your get request like from here from this particular route you you, you can get that particular value so second let's just discuss this query uh, which is also uh, comes in our get request so in order, in order to get the query just like our param we need to have our query decorator it also comes from nest.js common uh, like you can see here and you can type any variable name that i have written here query and then you can return it just like that i mean you can console log it out, out as well uh, like this console.log uh, if you do this you would be seeing the results in your terminal uh, but i've just uh, used this json.stringify and query so that we can uh, see the entire object in the stringified format so whenever you go to here um i think this is yeah this is the query one so query is always written something uh, like this you put question mark here and then this is key and this is value uh, for another one is like this last name is like uh, and you would see that you can find it here as query parameters when you press send would be finding it as an object here yeah I, I also mentioned earlier that you can get an entire object here as well without destructuring uh, just like uh, you can see here uh, put it any you know don't use any too much into your production code uh, this is not a good coding practice but just for a learning purpose uh, we are doing this we can also get an entire object here in, in param as well uh, just let me show it to you Let's it. Yeah, it didn't break. The server was not restarted. So you can see you can get an entire object uh, and you can destructure it just like I did it earlier. And you can do, do it in all of the examples that we are going to do. For example, in the body here as well. So let's discuss this body part here. So body is in our post method. So we go to the post method and we have written our body here. Go to this body click raw and type anything you want here and press send 
then you can catch the body here from this body decorator and then variable name and then any you know we will be learning about how to uh, validate this stuff with video but that in the video and you can see this here so so far so forth we have learned, learned param query and body uh, but if you know about HTTP, we also have something like headers and we sometimes and most of the times use it for either authentication and most of the time authorization as well so we can also get uh, specific headers here as well uh, like what headers are actually uh, here so in order to that, do that you just need a headers decorator and a variable name you know you can type any variable name here um, just like this it would return anything uh, just like above but you know for the sake of good uh, coding clarity I have written headers variable here so put this here uh, go to this header uh, path here and then press enter you can see that the entire object you can see I have written a dummy header name and Shamil uh, which you would be seeing here you can type here like uh, name last and WDIN see uh, you would be seeing all of that as an object as well and these are all the headers which this postman is sending to the nest.js server which it is uh, you know you, you can see right now here another one is I don't I have hardly ever used this IP but I thought to just make it clear here so we can also get an IP of the client on your on your server side so I have added an IP handler here so you would have to go to this IP route Go here request slash IP and press send and you would be seeing your IP address here uh, you might find it a bit weird because it is an IPv6 and over over of our local host so don't uh, worry too much about it so in this video we mostly learned about uh, different types of request decorators which we most often use in our uh, today project uh, which is param theory body header and very rarely this IP so thank you very much.